Hey guys, so this is the last video to finish off our calculator. So in the last one, we finished making the UI for it and also um, the input. So if we press any of these buttons, uh, it displays there now. So now we need to actually um, make it work, right? The calculator. So we want to show over here our user question, which is going to be the input and then we want to evaluate it and then display the user answer okay now the parser we're going to, we're going to use we're going to use a package and I'll link this down in, in the description but you can kind of look this up just by googling it so uh, math expression okay so I'll show you how to uh, evaluate our um, input over here okay so the first thing we're going to need to do is go to your pubspec yaml and in the dependencies we're going to add um, we're going to add this expression, okay? Oh, sorry, this uh, package. So I'm just going to copy that in, okay? So we're going to have this version number and let's save this. Okay, so it's going to get that package and you guys can kind of check this out um, to see how it all works, but I can kind of um, show you guys how to use it if it's difficult for you to read this. Um, so basically, first thing we need to do is actually over here, I think if I press my equals button, yeah, it just displays an equal sign. So that's the first thing we're going to need to take care of. So the equal button here, I'm just going to copy and paste the delete button. And the index, now I think the equal sign is at the very bottom, so it should be, yeah, it's the last one of these buttons. So to find that guy, I'm just going to say if the index is buttons.length um, minus one. Um, the reason why I do minus one is because in the array you start with, in the list you start with the first index being zero. Okay, so this is how many elements there are in that list. Okay, which we're going to have to subtract one. Okay, so this will get us the equal sign. So if it's an equal sign, we don't want to do this delete function and we don't want to make it red, we want to make it purple. So let's just save this and hopefully nothing, oops, hopefully nothing changed, yep. And we're going to write our passing function in here. Okay, now since this is where we basically built the button, I'm just going to make this um, just a method and we're going to write it down below. So let's just call this equal, um, equal pressed. Okay, and this guy, I'm going to come down here and just build the method so it's nice and clean out, out of the way. So basically, void equal pressed, and this is where we're going to build our, um, our parser. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is to actually import the package. So import that one there, the math expressions. And now we can add this bit of code. Okay, so the first thing to do is create the parser. Okay, so it says 1a, let's create the parser. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this code. And this here, this is just some dummy text in the example. Okay, so for us, whoops. So for us, we want this variable up there, which is a user question, I believe. And so I'm going to say um, string final question equals user question. Okay. And I'm going to use this final question instead. Okay. So we can just leave the user question the way it was. Okay. Take this guy and then we're going to pass um, that expression. Um, also, so now we need to, we don't have any variables, so you can actually do some more scientific calculations on this, which maybe I'll cover in a different video. But for now, let's make this um, context model. And we're not going to use this one, but maybe we can use this later to make our calculator more sophisticated if we need to have like variables in there that we're going to sub numbers in. But we just want to have this guy now, so evaluate the expression. So notice this is a double, so double 
um, and this is our expression and we're going to evaluate it. Okay, so let's see if this works. Um, first thing I'm going to need to do is change this to a string. Okay, so let's say user enter, which is down here. User enter equals eval dot to string. Okay, and hopefully this works. So let's clear everything. 8 plus 8 equals 16. Good, so um, that works. Let's try divide. Yep, those work as well. Um, oh yeah, that's the one thing. This times probably doesn't work because we need to change this. So the times is probably, by the parser, it's going to be an asterisk. So let's say final question. Uh, equals final question dot replace all and let's replace all the um, X's with an asterisk okay and let's just try this again and yep there we go cool and if you do a lot of stuff like a lot of buttons yeah it should still calculate it for you um, okay, cool. So yeah, that's basically how you build a calculator um, And I'll leave this to be the last video for this tutorial, but maybe later I can make a more sophisticated calculator um, A more scientific one, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks